But it is Leia Solana, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, jet lag. <laughs> yeah, we'll just say that. <laughs> um, yeah, first impressions, let's, let's go all the way through very quickly. Um, she was 17. My first impression was she was so yeah, sharp. She was 17 at the audition for Saigon. Yeah. 30 years ago. 30 years ago. <laughs> 17, and I thought, started working with her, and I thought, wow, this, this teenager is. Um, very quick, very witty, um, like a sponge, photographic memory. And then, on top of that, um, conducted herself with professionalism, had a, a wise head on young shoulders, which is a very, very rare thing, right? And then it was kind of always behaved in the immac immaculate manner of, um, <laughs> seriously, respectful people, always knowing to try and, you know, saying the right things at the right time. And basically, um, this, is, this is without saying about talent yet, I've just gone on about her attributes. I mean, that on top of being talented actually adds even more to somebody's talent. Somebody wants to love you, someone likes your company, it makes a big difference. Especially in this business with the peers. If you're respected amongst your own peers, which Leia is, if she doesn't already know him, um, is a massive contribution to somebody's talent. And I just knew, I didn't, I wasn't guessing, I just knew that you would be standing here today, coming all that way, and you brought all those ingredients you haven't, you haven't changed one bit, even in the way you look, <laughs> which I hate her for. But Leia, you... Um, would you just now? Yeah. <laughs> start the car, yeah. No, seriously, um, Leia, you are and have been and will always be a very uh, special part of my life, my career, my heart, and that's not just performing, because more importantly, you're a special part of my life because you are a true friend. I want to congratulate you on your 40 years, and um, it's only just beginning, and this is a new chapter for Leia. Thank you. God bless you. I, I don't really know how to call that. I mean, I mean, I, I do have a, a a good leading man story, and, and this is something that I need to say again. You've heard this last night. You've heard is it this me night. or somebody else? No, it's you. <laughs> no, no, no. Because Simon is was the very first romantic leading man I ever had, um, which kind of set up all the other romantic leading men that I had since. And here's the thing, at the time that I was first doing Miss Saigon, I hadn't ever been in a relationship, I mean, I didn't know how to kiss anybody properly, so it was a nightmare when Nicholas Heitner was starting to stage the more passionate and romantic scenes of Miss Saigon. Yvette, you've seen it, you, you know what the show is. Um, we were at Sadler's Wells for our rehearsals. We were using their rehearsal studios in London. And he could feel the anxiety bubbling from within me. So after the rehearsal, I was outside and, and my mom and I were outside in that cafeteria area. And so he goes first to my mother, speaks to her one-on-one -on -one privately. Not what you think. Um, <laughs> And then he speaks with me, with my mom there, so that she can hear everything that he has to say. Um, you can trust me. I will take care of you. Don't worry, I will not take advantage of you while we're doing this. For an 18-year-old... 
in her first like real romantic West End leading lady role and with the pressure of an entire country looking at you. And in this era of Me Too, I look back on that and I am so thankful that here was this man who took me and embraced me and taught me how to do this and took such good care of me that I felt like I could just enjoy the process, and I did. Um, exactly in the way you think. <laughs> but truly, thank you. I, I don't think I've been able to thank you enough for, for all of that.